Here's everything you need to know about this arterial blood gas syringe if you need to use this in your facility. So first, when we open this up, we're going to notice that there is this cute little cap inside here. So make sure that we save this. You're also going to have your syringe, of course. The RT can use this actually to access an artery. It can also be used to access our arterial blood through an arterial line as well. And if not, if you have to do a VBG, we can always get our venous blood directly to here, or we can also transfer into here as well. But here are some common things that you need to know that not everybody knows about this arterial blood gas syringe. For demonstration purposes, I'm actually gonna be using a can of soda here. We wanna make sure that we keep our needle safe and away from us. So we have gotten our specimen right here, right? So we wanna make sure that we're taking off this needle tip. We have air inside of here, but more importantly, there is heparin inside of this syringe, and we wanna make sure that this heparin mixes with our blood because we don't want it to clot so we can protect our blood gas at all costs, right? So what we can do is we can go ahead and push this air bubble out. Once we got it out, we're gonna put our fancy cap back on here. And now we can actually use our hands to mix up our syringe a bit. So now we're actually getting that heparin to mix around our either arterial or venous blood. You can almost see that it gets slightly darker by me mixing it around as well. If you're not already handing this over to RT and they're gonna go run it in their potentially point of care ABG machine, then you can put this now on ice and you can send this down to the lab, of course, as long as it is labeled. So here's everything you need to know about this ABG syringe, good luck.